time travel, one of the most explored concepts of science fiction, sprouting books, movies, and TV shows such as Doctor Who, Back to the Future, Quantum Leap, Groundhog Day, Timeline, Terminator, Time Cop, Austin Powers, Gold Member, Twelve Monkeys, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, The Butterfly Effect, Looper, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Free Jack, Black Knight, Time Riders, The Infinity Ring, Stargate, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, The Time Machine, and etc. Today, we will be learning about its possibilities. There are two subjects that we will be covering. How time travel will be accomplished and the practical applications and paradoxes involved. Time travel can be accomplished a several number of ways. The ways we will discuss here will be the speed of light, gravitational anomalies, and wormholes. Firstly, the speed of light. When you travel near to the speed of light, time speeds up around you, or more correctly, you slow down. Let me put it this way. Let's say Usain Bolt is on a train, which is going 1,079,869,804 kilometers per hour. This is really close to the speed of light. Then Usain Bolt runs at the speed of 30 kilometers per hour while on the train. Theoretically, he is running faster than the speed of light. But wait. Let's step back for a second. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity states that nothing can move faster than the speed of light. So how can he do this? Well, the universe allows nothing to move faster than light. So when Usain Bolt gets to almost light speed, he slows down in time, stopping him from passing this universal speed limit. In short, the closer you get to the speed of light, or the faster you move, the more you are slowed down. This means if Usain looked out of the window of the train, he would see time moving really fast, kind of like everything was in fast forward. In fact, any time you move, slower things around you speed up in time. This is what happens to astronauts on spaceships when they go incredibly fast. The world record for most time traveled is held by Russian cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev. While living for long periods in the International Space Station, he traveled 0.02 seconds into the future. In fact, every time we orbit around the sun on planet Earth, we travel slower in time than another planet with a slow orbiting speed. So, on regards about using speed to time travel, it's a yes. However, you can't actually go backwards in time, only forward. Secondly, gravitational anomalies. If an object is a great mass, meaning it's big, people near the object can be slowed down in time, meaning, like the speed of light we discussed earlier, they experience less time in a long period. This is because of the effects of space-time, a continuum linking space and time together. The further into an object's gravity well, or the closer you are to an object, the more time slows down for you. This means if you stand next to the pyramids of Giza, you are experiencing less time than you should in a larger period. So, if you want to make a school lesson go shorter than it should, you should stay close to your desk. This means using gravity to time travel is a yes. But again, you can't actually travel back in time. Thirdly, wormholes. You've probably heard of wormholes somewhere in science fiction. Wormholes actually exist, but they're not as easy to control as simple time dilation like we discussed earlier. A wormhole is a tunnel linking two areas of space and time together. But they can go anywhere in the universe, anywhere in the universe, and also outside of the universe into alternate realities. To give you a better understanding about wormholes, imagine a two-dimensional universe. I would use a three-dimensional model, but it's easy to understand two dimensions. If a two-dimensional person wanted to teleport from one place to the other, they could simply fold their two-dimensional universe to get from one place to the other. Now I'll take this model and fit it to three-dimensional space. I know it might sound impossible to fold three-dimensional space, but this is actually what wormholes are doing. However, wormholes are incredibly unstable and require the energy equivalent to about 10 suns. Even though wormholes are found naturally in the universe, to control one would be incredibly difficult, and you could still literally be taken anywhere in the universe, so don't trust them. So wormholes are possible to be taken seriously as a means of time travel if we could control them. But a big positive is that wormholes take you into the past. However, this brings us to our final questions. How does time travel work? What are its rules and practical applications? If you go back in time and kill your own grandfather, do you phase out of existence? Create an alternate timeline where you don't exist.
Well, are you unable to kill your grandfather? Because he did exist, and we know you didn't kill him, because otherwise you're dead, but you're not dead, so he's alive, even though you tried to kill him. That's complicated. Scientists believe that either you would create another reality, branching off the current timeline, or just be unable to kill him for random reasons, like a bird flies in the way. You miss fire. Or your grandfather knows how to dodge bullets. So in conclusion, you can actually travel in time. But right now, your best bet is to either apply for NASA, stand near something huge, fold the universe, or watch science fiction. Thank you.